Google CEO Sundar Pichai reaches Mumbai to celebrate Women's Day as technology giant Google's India-born CEO Sundar Pichai reached Mumbai to celebrate International Women's Day 2019 on Friday. Happy to celebrate Hash I would 2019 with the India chapter of Women at Google at their I Am Remarkable event, Pitch I tweeted. Thank you for inspiring me with your stories about the experiences, challenges and triumphs of being women in tech, the 46-year-old added. Challenging location. Google on flood forecasting project in Patnasela Nevo. The engineer leading Google's flood forecasting initiative in Patna said Google chose Patna for the project as it has an incredibly interesting and challenging location. There are a lot of things like embankments and other man-made structures that we need to be able to deal with, said Nevo. Google is using machine learning to improve flood forecasting systems. Tim Cook changes his Twitter name after Trump calls him Tim Apple. Apple CEO Tim Cook changed his last name on Twitter to the Apple logo after U.S. President Donald Trump mistakenly called him Tim Apple during a meeting on Wednesday. The change is visible only to those using Apple products. You have really put a big investment in our country. We really appreciate it very much. Tim Apple, Trump had said, Huawei won't be a silent lamb to U.S. slaughter, says China. China Foreign Minister Wang Yi has said Beijing will take all necessary measures to defend its enterprises and that Huawei won't be a silent lamb to the slaughter. This came over the lawsuit filed by Huawei against the U.S., alleging government ban on its products was unconstitutional. The U.S. had alleged the Chinese government could use Huawei equipment for espionage.